Okay, let me just slingshot that down really quickly. Ah, okay, got it. What? Ah, Boogie, yes, hi, yeah, how are you? Uh, what happened, buddy? I was, uh, I was expecting some footage uh, to be sent over to me on Monday. Are you gonna get around to shooting that video? Sorry, bro, uh, playing Animal Crossing right now. Can I do it a little later? Okay, all right, come on, man, it's, it's time. Come on, get up off the couch. I know Animal Crossing is great, but get off of the couch. We gotta make a video. Come on, buddy, you gotta upload something this week, all right? Ah, man, I can't right now. I'm planting some trees right now, dude. I just had a buddy come over. He gave me some peaches, man. I gotta, I gotta plant them. What do you want me to do? I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Come on, man, it's time to film. Come on, the video doesn't even have to be that long. Come on, it's a monthly wrap-up video. Come on, you got this, man. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Ah. 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 Oh, God. Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benjamin J, and this is the home and the hub of anything and everything manga and anime related in my life. And of course, we are doing yet another monthly wrap-up video where I let you guys know what I have been reading this month. And of course, we are talking about the month of March 2020. So this is the third one of the year. And oh my goodness, this month has been certainly a wild ride for myself, and I'm guessing probably a lot of you out there. And of course, before we jump on into the video, I want to know what you guys are reading. So go ahead and let me know down below in the comments comment sections. I would love to know what you guys have been reading. Let's have that discussion down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the first series of the night, okay? It is a continuation from last week. And honestly, this is the series that's been getting pretty much the most of my attention as I would like to finish it. And I am enjoying it very, very much, okay? And of course, I am talking about the Ancient Magus Bride volumes five to eight. And I'm currently uh, reading volume eight right now. I'll probably finish, uh, I'll probably finish it tonight. But here we, here we go right here. And it's 12. 12 is the one that's currently out. I do own it, so I'm almost done. I got four more volumes to go. Uh, but yes, this series is absolutely phenomenal. Of course, it follows uh, Elias and Chise here. Now, if you're looking for a full description of my thoughts of this series, go ahead and watch my previous uh, monthly catch up video. But I do highly, highly recommend it. I did want to mention it in this month's uh, monthly wrap up just because, yes, I have been reading it one and two. My opinion absolutely has not changed. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is very much a, uh, a fantastical series, has a lot to do with magic. Uh, yes, there is romance elements to it, there's adventure elements to it. Uh, it's actually surprisingly really, really good. It, it has kept my attention wholeheartedly uh, the entire read, okay? And I think if you guys like a mysterious, magical, uh, sometimes romantic story that is very adventurous and does have some battle elements to it, I think you really will like it. It's not traditionally set in uh, in Japan. This is actually set uh, in, in England. Uh, I don't know really what time. It seems to have like a very old time medieval feel, yet it's also sometime near current time. Uh, it, it's very weird, but it's on. It, it just works in the series, and, it, and it's actually very, very, very good. So I highly recommend The Ancient Magus Bride, okay? And like I said, uh, this month I've read volumes 5 to 8, and I'm absolutely loving it, okay? So if you haven't checked out The Ancient Magus Bride, I highly do recommend it, okay? So quickly, Moving on. This next series that we're gonna be talking about, of course, is Hunter Hunter. Now, you guys know here on the channel that I'm a huge fan of Hunter Hunter. Absolutely huge fan. I've seen uh, the entire anime, uh, but I thought it was time to maybe start reading uh, the manga. Now, I have volumes one to five of, of the actual manga itself. Uh, this month, I've decided to read volumes one and two here, and they look absolutely amazing, at least the covers. The art style, you know, I can see why some people would give it a little bit of grief, but honestly, uh, it doesn't get in the way of the story for me, and I absolutely, you know, was, was very headstrong and very determined to actually read the series and collect it as it is one of my uh, favorite uh, shonens of all time. So uh, I'm loving it so far. I mean, do I really have to explain what Hunter Hunter is about? Uh, for those that don't know, this is an absolutely uh, phenomenal, phenomenal series uh, following Gon and his adventures uh, and, and finding his father, discovering himself and the adventures that he has to disembark on, uh, trying to first become a hunter and the adventures that come with that. And as well as, like I said before, uh, finding his father. There are, uh, there are friends 
friends and allies that he makes along the way, and of course enemies. Uh, my favorite is uh, the, the dynamic between Gon and Killua. So Hunter x Hunter, absolutely phenomenal. I definitely recommend it. Now, if you are one of those people that just want to watch the anime, more power to you. It's a very, very good. So if you haven't seen the anime, do yourself a favor and check out the anime for Hunter x Hunter. But also, if you want to have an open mind and get a little further past the anime, keyword a little further, uh, I think the manga is, is the best way to go for that one. Okay, so quickly moving on. Alrighty guys, so the last series of the night has to be one of the most highly recommended series on my channel of all time. Of course, that would be from the viewers and other content creators uh, that are in the community, okay? Now, of course, I am talking about the quintessential quintuplets for me this month, volumes one and two. Now, this story follows Usugi, who is a very studious young man, and he is at the top of his class just killing it, getting good grades. The only downside is that he's not in the best financial status. His family isn't in the best financial status. And through a series of events, he ends up becoming a tutor uh, to, let's just say, a family of quintuplets. We're talking about five sisters. This series is actually really unique, uh, incredibly well written. There's comedic elements to it. It's very heavy on the romance. And it, honestly, this is probably one of the best romance series that has probably come out, or maybe it's the best one that has come out in, uh, in 2020 thus far totally killing it. And maybe it didn't come out in 2020, uh, but that's certainly when I picked it up. And yeah, I honestly, this is one of those series that you just have, you know, it's the easiest thing to just keep flipping and just keep flipping. Honestly, like I'm surprised I'm only two volumes into the series itself. Uh, that being said, most of my time has been on Animal Crossing, you guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, I definitely cannot wait to finish the series. The big question of the night, who does Boogie think uh, is best girl? Yeah, that's gonna gonna have to be uh, to be decided yet. I don't think I can decide who best girl is based off of two volumes of the series. Um, they all seem amazing and quirky in their own right. Uh, so I think maybe by volume four or five, I'll be able to give you guys a little better opinion. So next month, I'll let you guys know who best girl is for me. This series absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked out the quintessential quintuplets, I highly recommend it. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I think we're going to wrap it up here. This month, of course, was a wild ride for me, as I'm guessing a lot of you guys so I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy at home all right you guys thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video and you guys want to support the channel go ahead and mash that like button down below it really does help support this channel of course as always nothing has changed if you guys want to stick around for more content go ahead and mash that subscribe button down below we would love to have you here in the community all right you guys that being said one little last bit of tidbit of information before I let you guys know I will of course be doing my weekly Friday night streams every Friday starting between five or 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to go ahead and catch that and join in on the fun, uh, please join us. We'll see you here on Friday. I think we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Benjamin J, and I will see you in the next video. Good night, you guys.